What's up guys, it's Alec Mac 111 and as you can tell by this box, and this box, and this box, and also probably the title, I have another unboxing for you guys today. So I get a lot of requests to do unboxings, people are like, hey, you should do unboxings, Alec Mac 101, because they love them, you guys like them the most, so these are the ones that I'm going to do. I get trades quite a bit, I get all of this stuff through trades, and you guys are asking, how do you have so much money? I don't have so much money. I just trade a lot of my guns for other guns and then sell those and sometimes buy other guns but mostly just kind of trade around so I get new guns and so I can play with other things. But we're going to start off with this little package over here. This is just a lens thing for a new camera that I got. Uh, this came from China so I ordered this like a month ago and it finally got here. It's, I believe it's just a little IR filter for a lens. Yeah, there's actually two of them so it's just a small two super small IR filters that I got for one of my cameras. Um, next, we're gonna go with the little bit smaller box because the bigger one is way cooler in my opinion. I mean, they're both cool, but this bigger box I'm super excited for because it's a Tokimori VSR. Ah, oh, shoot, Alec, you already gave it away. Now there's no reason to save the end of the video. Well, you haven't seen me open this one yet. Also, you probably wanna see the VSR, so that'd be pretty cool. So this one came uh, from a friend of mine. I traded him, super cool guy. Um, I do a lot of my trades on forums and stuff. You guys ask me, hey, how do you get all this cool stuff? How are you such a rich guy? I'm not a rich guy. I work during the summer. I work during the school year for my college. Let's go ahead and open this first. So first part of this trade that I got, set that down real quick, is a KWA MP9. I had one of these a while ago. If you've been around the channel for a while, this actually looks like it's in pretty good condition. Um, I believe the mag is in here as well. It's got like some sort of nice like lubricant on the outside of it. I don't know if he included lubricant and it just kind of exploded, but the outside is lubricated, even though that's not super important. Here is the mag. The mag has a little bit of a problem on the feed lip. Someone dropped it. It still looks like it's super rock solid and in place. You can tell there's just a little, kind of a little chip right there. But it, she says it feeds fine, so that's, that's good. I love MP9s. These are really cool. And then I also got some red dots. So to give you an idea of what I traded, I traded this KWA MP9 for one of my DITAC 12 and a half inch rail systems and for both of these red dots I traded a magwell grip, a real steel magwell grip that I got on my system that you guys saw that I didn't really necessarily like that much. So I got two red dots for it. The, uh, he says one of them has the mounting screws. It's supposed to be for one but one of them doesn't have the mounting screw and neither of them have batteries so he just included two of them. They're Valken Outdoor. Just look like T1s might get risers for them. One's in tan and one's in black. It looks like the tan one is kind of chipping just a little bit, but that should be a big deal. I don't know if it was spray painted. I think it's just, it's like it's a different, like the outside coat is different. I don't, I've never had a Valken Red Dot before, but I think he said the batteries were out for both of them. I have no clue what this runs off. It looks like a little watch battery or something. But yeah, two sights. Actually, let's throw one on the other one with the mounting. Is, we're on to this. I think KDBA guns are pretty cool. Some of them I have had that I've had have not been the best. They've just kind of been inconsistent. I don't know if that's because I've had lemons, but for the most part, KDBA makes really, really good guns, and this one is absolutely no exception. I had a green one a long while ago that I got. It was super used. It had been used very, very, very rough, um, but this one is actually in much better shape. It's got a little tore up here. It's the only thing with trades. Like if you want to trade, you're not going to get the greatest quality guns. They're going to have a little bit of you know, things here and there that are maybe messed up. Like this one, the mag thing was, was there. I think I need to buy, he said, there's like a $15 disconnector part that I'll probably just order from KWA themselves. Um, he said that was the only problem with the gun. So I traded it for a rail system because he said he didn't have time to work on it. Next, we have the VSR. Now I traded this for my WE M16, my WE M16 long um, stock, I ended up taking the barrel off of my WE or the rail off of my WE M16 and putting it on my system up because I really liked that rail system. So I took the uh, WE M16 rail system and put it on my system up, which you guys will see when I do a loadout video once I get a new pop up for my system because I got to figure everything else out real quick. Hopefully, I won't need that anymore. 
and this this came all the way from Texas. The dude had it cost a ton of money for him to ship because I think he had them package it, and then I don't think it was an actual USPS or UPS store. Um, so I think he had there's something else in the bottom there. Whoops! I think he had to have like if you take it to an off-brand UPS place, they I'm definitely gonna leave the knife. They will not. They charge you a little extra and take it to UPS themselves. It's a really weird thing, but he ended up paying a ton to ship this, which is kind of unfortunate for him. Um, but I shipped my WM16 there for like $23. This has a cool paint job on it. It looked really cool in person. It still looks pretty cool. I'm not sure. Wow, this probably sounds like gunshots. I don't know exactly how well it's going to look in person. I must be careful not to. But there is the top part. It actually looks really good. It's like a tiger stripe light. It looks like he, it's a very, very nice. And then that's the, the barrel. I believe it's a garter 6.02 barrel. It's sticking out the end. It has a suppressor that he is including and it will be in this package. I wasn't sure how good the scope was gonna be. Um, but it actually looks nice. It's made in China. CP, looks like it's illuminated as well. Got nice. Very nice and visible. And then here is the stock, just normal VSR stock. And the rail. And he has a nice little paracord sling attachment there with red to something. I'm not sure what that is. Um, but it looks pretty nice. He's put some foam in here, maybe to reduce the wobbling a little bit. I don't know if the screws, the screws are probably lower in the package. Obviously, I'll do a video of this later. This is just an unboxing, but you guys like it when I take apart things, so figured I'd do it. Oh, yeah, he also, he had five magazines. That's like, I think they hold like 20, 25 rounds a piece. I don't know if they're all TM. I would doubt all of them are TM, but I guess they are pretty cheap, so like having a lot of mags is great, especially for someone like me who plays American Milson games and needs stuff like that. Okay, cool. So all that mounting hardware is in here as well. And there is a hole in the bag that just split open. The bag was, or the box was kind of beat up. Actually, yeah, the box was kind of beat up uh, pretty pretty badly, as you can kind of tell. I mean, it did come from Texas to Ohio, so that's kind of far away. But yeah, I got smashed a little bit and then kind of deformed, but I don't think anything is wrong with it see what brand these mags are. I'll just kind of throw it together real quick. I'll put it together with my tools because I'll need Allen keys. But I'll show you guys real quick exactly what new sniper gameplays are going to be filmed with. This awesome thing right here. Man, that's beautiful. Texture is actually pretty nice. Bolt looks a little worn. It has a few upgrades in it. It has a Garner 6.02 barrel. Um, five magazines, nice scope. I believe it has an upgraded bucking, and I think that's it. There might be some other compression things that are added that are better, but I'm sure I'll do a little bit of upgrades to this, um, buy a really nice bucking, maybe if this one's a little bit older, but for the most part, this thing is beautiful. Oh, I gotta grab the suppressor, where did that? Ah, right here. That was the other thing that fell off. This looks like the bipod and the suppressor. So final thing here, kind of open up. He packaged everything very well. He sounded like he was an older guy, so it's probably someone. Um, it's nice to work with people. <laughs> Sometimes you'll deal with really young kids too, and that's great. Like for you, those of you guys, just try and make sure that you package um, stuff fairly well or as best to your ability, just so so people can't complain and so it possibly can't get hurt in the shipment process. Like none of this stuff is even touched. Um, oh, this was part of it. it's a some sort of brand thread adapter and then suppressor. I wasn't sure how I'd like the look of the suppressor on it, but I think it's actually gonna look pretty good. Looks like it just threads, yeah, threads right in there. Yeah, that looks, I, I have, I've had two other VSRs before, I never had any with a suppressor attachment. I guess that'll be kind of cool. If it's foam filled, I can foam fill, it looks like I can foam fill it if it's not already. Um, maybe that'll make it a little bit more quiet. This has been Alec Mac 101. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this unboxing. I will see you guys later.